Let me explain something to you. You can decide not to use your faith for something. That is why you can be faithful and broke. Faithful and broke. Very faithful. You use your faith for faithfulness. But you didn't use it for prosperity. You know there are people who say, hmm, I'm just very thankful to God. I'm not owing anybody. In this life, I'm not owing anybody. Listen, the fact that you're not owing anybody does not mean you're living a good life. Because you could have gone from minus and now you are zero. Zero means you're not owing. All things are now equal. But God didn't call us to zero. He called us to super abundance. He said, I am come that you may have life and have it. King James says, more abundantly. But he was saying, have it to the overflow. Have a certain kind of life. A certain kind of life. A life that is always increasing. Always increasing. Always increasing. It's a kind of life. So pastor showed us seven things. He said in our walk with God, we should experience, just want to remind you, one, ever increase in faith. Ever increase in faith. He said two, ever increase in grace. Ever increase in grace. Three, ever increase in knowledge. Ever increase in knowledge. Ever increase in love. Ever increase in vision. Ever increase in ministry. And ever increase in glory. Faith is the distinguishing factor between men. He says, by faith, Abel offered a more excellent sacrifice. A more excellent sacrifice. The just shall live by his faith. So there was something that Paul missed. But when we go to where it was written, that he was quoting, you know, so I'm a preacher, you know, sometimes when you preach, you paraphrase. But when we go to the original text, we see something important. It says, therein is the righteousness of God revealed from one level of faith to another. Then it says, for, for, the righteous shall live by his personal faith. By his faith. That means you live by your faith. You live by your faith. You live by your faith. That means it's a personal thing. Listen, listen. What result are you going to obtain? When we get to heaven, what report card are you going to show? You know, which one are you going to show? What are you going to acquire with your faith? Because this is very important. Most people think generically. They think in generic. Uh, gen oh, uh, <coughs> the exam was hard. Everybody failed. Why should everybody fail? And you are included in the everybody. The scripture says the righteous shall live. Look at, look at the righteous. Scripture says 11,001 persons are in a place. Something happens to 11,000 people and one person doesn't get it. A thousand will fall by your left. 10,000 by your right. He says it will not come near you. What are the chances that there will be an infection and 11,001 persons are in a place 11,000 people will get it and one you will not get it your faith your faith your faith, your faith. I heard oh, that these days oh, things are happening oh, when you're just traveling oh, somebody was not traveling oh, as you were not traveling oh, he was now caught oh, he now died and he was a Christian. I don't know what his faith was working on. Because 
So I don't know what you believe. I'm not about to die like you. You didn't hear what I said. My faith has locked on eternal life. Hey! This is the record. This is the record. This is the record. God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. He that had the son had this life. I have the son and I have this life.